Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan Imran and I'm currently a student in Dawa Medical College. And today I have a very special guest for you guys as you've all requested again and again. Bhai, ab sab log Dawa mein daakhla kar chuke hain hamare seniors jo ke mere juniors ho gaye. And how did they do it? What did they do exactly? So today I have a very special guest. She is my uh, junior and she got into Dawa Medical College uh, mashallah this year. Her name is Khadija uh, Shafiq. So Khadija, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. My name is Khadija Shafiq, and I'm currently a first year here at Dow. And for my high school, I was at KGS. So for my A levels, I had five A stars in the three sciences, maths and IPQ. I gave my MDCAT last year in 2022, and my score was 173 on 200. Mashallah, that is an amazing score. Mashallah, mashallah. Honestly, for A level students, the myth is that A level students usually don't get admission. Not get. We'll talk about exactly. more about that, inshallah, in the video. So, um, starting off, TK. Um, so let's just talk about the overall. How did your A level preparation go? And you know, overall. Overall, for my A levels, I would say since I had five subjects, sometimes it would get like really challenging, especially because um I was in an environment where everyone was preparing to like go abroad. So there's this like um FOMO, I would say, when you're someone who's staying in Pakistan to apply to like med schools, you kind of feel like, oh, am I making the wrong choice? So there's like a lot of pressure in that sense as well. And then you have your CIs, you have your societies. I was in a lot of societies because I just like to spread myself too thin. So like managing all of that would get like a bit hard sometimes. But for my CIs, I'd say like honestly, I was just really happy when they were done. I would mainly just use my lecture notes if we're talking in terms of studying. I'm someone who has to be in a lecture. I have to be making my notes, so I would just use those, go over past papers, and. My study pattern isn't like really anything specific. I just make sure that if I'm making a mistake, I go back and I understand why I'm getting it wrong, and then I like make sure I don't do it again. So that's the only piece of advice that got me through A levels, and that's how I cruise through. Oh, hey, mashallah, mashallah. That's honestly a very good advice because, of course, as A level students or as FSC students, boss, say mashallah, they also try to. Do extracurriculars and that sort of stuff, especially when it comes to medical school. Abi, ab daam mein aa chuki hai. You know about what it all all is about: research, work, studying, ethics, what not. So okay, so now let's move on to the MD card, MD card part of this entire uh, mm -hmm. interview. So I'm just gonna give a very brief overview of the entire paper pattern, and then I'll ask you questions with relation to it. So PMC or uh, Lord did last year for my juniors and for Shafika and her batch. They updated their PM syllabus and they changed the number of questions and they converted from an online form of education uh, testing to a physical form of testing. मतलब जो पिछले बार जो मेरे seniors थे, they gave a paper based question and then during my year we had a tablet based question. हम tablet रे screen में दबा देते हैं. So if I just go over, just have a quick overview of the number of questions. So biology had a total of sixty eight questions. Chemistry had a total of fifty four questions. Physics had a similarly a uh, number of fifty four questions. English had a number of eighteen questions, and logical reasoning में छः सवाल थे. So that totals up to a total number of दो सौ सवाल या two hundred questions. So of course this be and this was I believe a three point five hour examination correct रही थी जी? Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. So like uh, firstly when you're starting to prepare, of course you need to have some certain resources, कुछ किताबें, कुछ online resources. So what did you use and what would you recommend the बच्चास to use? Um, I'm like purely speaking from the perspective of A levels. That first week when you decide to sit down, के पास अब MD CAT की तैयारी करनी है, it's really confusing because you've never approached the syllabus, and on the surface it seems like oh वो ही topics and जो A levels में किए थे, they should be easy. But once you actually like start flipping through them, the way they approach content and the way like you've approach content in A levels, it's like slightly different. So there's this like lag when it comes to adapting. And I personally like, मुझे वो एक हफ्ता it became ten days, then it became like two weeks, and I was still like really confused. So what I did is I approached like seniors who were at the colleges that I was aiming for, and I would suggest everyone to do the same because yes, you can watch videos and you can like hear other people's perspectives, you know, in a general sort of way. But unless you get your questions like addressed one on one, you're still going to have like a lot of confusion. So what I did is I just asked the people who have already you know achieved what I want to achieve. I asked them, "Okay, what did you do, and what should I avoid?" And then basically, I made my plan according to that. So from what I heard from seniors is, "Okay, either go with federal books or Punjab board books." So I'll just go over how my experience was for both of them. 
I initially went out and I got the federal key books thinking that federal must be better because it's like the Islamabad system, just a preconceived notion, right? But then when I actually started doing them and I would keep the PMC ka syllabus right next to me while I was studying so I could make sure that I'm checking all the boxes, right? I'd I wanted to make sure that the content I'm covering is exactly what's going to be tested. What I noticed is that federal board does not have the exact stuff that BMC was looking for. And then I went out and I got like uh, resources for the Punjab board books. And honestly, very, very underrated. But there's this website called eLearn Punjab and not a lot of people know about it. But it's basically the Punjab government is making like an initiative to digitalize their curriculum. And you can find really amazing flip books like PDF versions. You can download them as well for the entire curriculum. And as someone who's like I value aesthetics while studying a lot. So those were really important for me. Like making the switch to FSC books was already a bit, you know, I was like, oh, <laughs> like I got Aww. the same board books as well when things went provincial. Those were a nightmare. So even if things go provincial, do not go for the same board books. You can get by with the Punjab board books. And I would really recommend like going through eLearn Punjab, great resource. And that's basically what I did. And what I did to make things easier for myself is I made a list of least familiar to most familiar topics and I like overlapping with my A-level subjects and then I compared it with the FSC subjects, right? So what I did is I knew the least familiar like kingdoms and growth and development in bio, things like that were going to take me more time. So I had to give myself that margin while planning. Whereas things like acids and bases and gravitation, we've all been doing and they're basically the same all across the board. So I put those in like most familiar and I just made like a rough schedule for myself. Okay, I'm going to go from least familiar to most familiar because even if I like if I end up taking too much time with the harder topics and I don't have enough time left to, you know, go over like acids and bases to go over thermochemistry, I know that I've done those, so I don't have to worry about them. That's how I would like recommend everyone approach it as well. Like if you're coming from an A-level background, because otherwise it just gets really confusing. You're like, isme ye nahi hai, usme wo nahi hai, what should I target? So just personalize it for yourself, make a list and just go in that order. That's personally what helped me. Um, for other resources, what I would basically do is I really suggest that you should be going over the end of the topic questions, the MCQs and the chapters themselves, like just the board books, because that's going to give you an idea of what, like, um, you know how they expect a lot of rote memorization. So that's basically going to give you an exact guideline ke kya info yaad rakhni hai, kya nahi karni. because the first time I went over those books, I was like, how am I going to remember the years? How am I going to do this and that? So just pinpoint those questions do them and like just flip back you'll find the answers because they don't really give you the answers but if you flip back look through it you'll find your answers do those and then do like subject wise questions do use like an online resource bank and some people use the kips question books personally i wouldn't recommend them because logon ka kya conception hoti hai ke they're harder so they have like tougher concepts and if i just do the tougher stuff then i'll like who's but that's not how it works you need to target what they're actually going to ask you're not going to be an advantage if you just do the tougher stuff because then you're missing all of the medium level stuff that's actually going to be tested the most and Kips only has like the tougher questions and most of the time that their answer keys are faulty. And that to me personally was really irritating because then I'd spend like five, 10 minutes Googling what answer was, and that would just ruin the entire flow of things. So if you're someone who can deal with that, like you don't mind putting in the extra effort, then I would suggest go for the Kips books as like, like as a review, just to make sure your concepts are really strong. But overall during your initial prep, I would say avoid them. All right, that is awesome. So if I just summarize whatever you have said right now. So in terms of resources, you chose the federal board books first, but then also the Punjab board books when you're preparing for your MDCAT, even though you had the availability of SIN board books, but obviously as an A-level student or as a normal student, it is not sufficient. I do believe that, that's what you said. And apart from that, you also said uh, you should ask your seniors and say guidance Dijega, because the more guidance you get, get from them, because obviously they've they've reached their goals, right? And you can reciprocate it and you can replicate it. So that's good, uh -huh. mashallah. That is awesome. And then you also suggested online resources and of course kips and whatnot. So that's awesome. So that I think covers the resources portion. So if I move on to the next portion, which um 
is a bit of a difficult one, but khair. So you were in A levels, right? Yeah. As in A level, when did you exactly start studying, and how? Like, what was your routine type thing? How did you manage like that, that consistency? The consistency is precisely what I had a difficult time with because my A levels they ended kind of like I had my last C I I believe eighteenth May or something, and then I was like chutiya. Before I get into this grind, I want to relax. So I did take like a vacation, and I would suggest that everyone do that because once you get into this grind, na katta mag itna pakke ga you're going to miss summer. You're going to miss having fun. So just make sure you give yourself like a week. Don't take too much time between like your A levels and starting for this because it's going to be time consuming. It was for me. There were moments where I was like, nay. जल्दी शुरू कर लेना चाहिए था सो डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ वेल यू नो योर सेल्फ एंड हाउ वेल यू नो यू कैन मैनेज योर टाइम सो इनिशियली व्हाट आई डिड इज जस्ट लेइंग आउट द ग्राउंड वर्क यू नो कि हाउ मच टाइम डू आई हैव हाउ मेनी चैप्टर्स डू आई हैव टू कवर एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा एंड आई न्यू दैट आई वांटेड टू हिट द सिलेबस लाइक एट लीस्ट ट्वाइस मिनिमम आई वांटेड टू गो ओवर इट ट्वाइस बिकॉज़ पर्सनली इफ यू नो योर लर्निंग स्टाइल इट्स रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर मी आई नो कि द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू गो ओवर थिंग्स द इंफॉर्मेशन डजंट सिट दैट वेल आई नीड टू गो ओवर इट वंस क्वेश्चन माय सेल्फ देन गो ओवर इट अगेन सो इफ दैट्स व्हाट वर्क्स फॉर यू यू हैव टू गिव योरसेल्फ दैट मार्जिन एज़ वेल and what i would do is basically i would start my mornings early so around like 6 to 7 ke beech mein this is difficult for some people if you're not in the habit then don't do it but mera tha like i'm someone who prefers getting up early rather than staying up late just doesn't work for me so i would personalize my schedule and that's what i would suggest for everyone you're going to see a lot of people being like nahi raat ko ja ke pad lo do this in a block i do that just go with what you've already been doing because the more methods you try to like replicate and you try to copy other people it's not going to work you're just going to end up frustrated so you have to work with what you know i would get up early what i had is ke i made these sheets for myself of all the things that i had to rectify so first thing in the morning i would just you know like chem bio uh, physics ke formula i had a chem sheet with had all of the like organic reactions so i never opened those chapters again after i'd done them i would just go over those reactions in the morning my physics formula and a list of like all the important stuff in bio for the morning and then i'd review them at night beach me i would cover all my content i would go over like um i had days i would so like a bio day a chem day and a physics day i would start like around 8 pm nash 8 am sorry nashta kar ke aaram se you know getting in the zone then i'd hit a few chapters then i do like all of their questions and then whatever i got wrong i would go and like correct that concept for myself and i did this initially for like till i had 20 days left once i had 20 days left i started incorporating more of the like mocks in between so i would do like a mock every other day and by the time i had i'd say 10 days left i was doing a mock or two mocks every single day because there's a lot of resources on premed.pk and i believe med angle as well they have all of the old exams so i was uh, going through all of the ones for 2020 and 2021 and the mock papers that pmc themselves put up so what i was making sure of ke is not only was i covering the content but i was also testing myself because it's my personal belief ke unless you actually go and test yourself you're never going to find out what you're good at and what you're bad at so and for an exam like this like being honest the mdcat is a bad exam it doesn't test you in any particular skill it's testing your memory so you need to work in a way that's going to facilitate that and the best method is spaced repetition So if you've gone over something once, you need to test yourself, and then like a week later, test yourself on it again. See how you're doing. Go back and correct your weaknesses, and then test it again, like at a longer interval. That's how I would work: covering content, testing myself, giving myself some time, testing myself on it again, and then going back and doing just a final review of things. That is very awesome because I love the fact that you mentioned spaced repetition because in medical school that is also a very important part yeah. and we use flashcards and online tools like Anki and whatnot and that's amazing and apart from that so if I just summarize this particular part so consistency बनाने के लिए you have to personalize your own schedule आपके भाई बहन क्या करते थे आपके कोई senior क्यों क्या करते थे that's not that might not work for you and I agree education is something that is as personal as for example let's say religion क्योंकि if you're studying something and you don't adapt to it then there is no point in studying it of course 
And then again, you mentioned that you use pre-med and pre -med and med angle and premedical.pk for the resources. I also personally use premedical.pk during my years. And honestly, online resources are the way to go because you need answers quickly. You need to have the explanations and everything. So honestly, I really appreciate that you mentioned this part. All right. So um, if I go to the more specific parts, like each specific section, and uh, like in... So we have physics, biology, chemistry, math, uh, math uh, sorry, logical reasoning, math to hota nahi hai. Math baki hai, medical hai. <laughs> and English. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how did you um like control your studying in terms of physics and physics? Kya kaise, how did you handle that part? Physics for me was honestly kind of where I struggled the most initially because I couldn't really understand the way the books were written. So if you're like me and you're more of like, you know, you need everything explained to you very, very thoroughly, I would suggest two YouTube channels. Physics Wala, if you have a lot of time, Indian guy, amazing, like genuinely amazing. But he takes a lot of time. Like you have to take a topic pe pura ek din lagana hoga if you want to listen to all of his lectures. But Physics in Seconds, they're also another great I believe they're a tuition academy, but they're doing this really great thing where they have all of their recent lectures and all of the topics up on YouTube for free, just out of like the goodness of their heart, which I really appreciated because Mera unke MD card pass ni hona tha. So they have like all of the topics catered specifically to the MD card. Like they cover the questions, they go over previous questions, and they cover the topic exactly in the way that you're going to be tested on. So that's how I did physics. And like they were very put off by the fact that I did this, but Joby topic like optical physics. A lot of people were on the <laughs> fence. They're like, Ayaga, nahi aayega. I was like, nahi aayega to rehne do. Because I I didn't want to waste my energy. It wasn't getting through to me. So honestly, I would suggest that to everyone as well. Don't leave like panch topics. That's crazy. But ek do agar nahi samajaya, because some of these topics are genuinely like nonsensical. If you don't get it, drop it, focus on what you're strong in. So that's what I did. So I would spend a lot of time practicing questions. I would read through the books, make notes of like, you know, okay, um, like some of the formulas they can test you on or some invention or some discovery. They'll be like, I'm oh, Heisenberg, I guess that's what I did, right? So I would note down all of those, but I wouldn't do any of like the practicals they gave in the books because most of the time when keep working, we say not the I would do the end of the chapter questions. I would hit at least a hundred questions per topic because for me personally, tab tak, you know, I hadn't hit my saturation point. Everyone has a different one. But up until I got like a hundred questions, I would get to say, yeah, this information is mostly what they're going to ask. This one is irrelevant. And this is how I need to do like all the solving process and everything. So I would do the questions and that would really like clarify things for me until I did the questions for physics. And I thought, sorry, like maths and physics, is a topic you can't really just go over the books and call it a day. You need to do the questions and you need to understand why the working is it the way it is. So pre-med, that's the one that I use the most for questions. So the good thing about it is the explanation is like really thorough. So it gives you like a really good idea of how you should be approaching it as well. I would just do like a lot of practice questions. I would hit a hundred the first time I did the topic. Then I'd come back to it. I'd do another hundred questions. And then I'd like, you know, see, kya, okay, abhi bhi ye area weak hai, and this one is like fine. So I don't need to go over it again. Then I just go over the weak area again. That's what I did for physics and it helped. That's awesome. Okay, so that, so in summary, what you did for physics is that you suggested some YouTube channels. And of course, one is by an Indian person. And I'm, I did not use YouTube channels, sadly. In my time, I simply just relied on the books because I was strong at it. But of course, every single person is different. So you used the online resources that are available, including question banks, inclusive of videos. And then you did the end of chapter questions. And you have suggested that if you have 95% theory hai syllabus ki, go for that. Don't compromise 95% for the 5% that you do not know, if I'm not wrong, right? All right, awesome, yeah. awesome. So if we move on to the big, the next portion being chemistry, how do you tackle that monster? Okay, so for chemistry, um, it's more or less very, very similar to our A-level syllabus. You don't have to worry about it that much. The only part I would say significantly differs from our syllabus would be solution and colloids. That's a new chapter. 
दो तीन और है मुझे नाम नहीं याद आई थिंक एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर फॉर मी वॉज वेरी वेरी न्यू लाइक ऑल ऑफ द फॉर्मूलाज इन दिवेशन लाइक बोर्ड रेडियस एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट दैट वॉज डिफिकल्ट एंड द ऑर्गेनिक पोर्शन इज डिफरेंट इन द सेंस के देर इज नथिंग दे रियली वॉन्ट फ्रॉम यू ऑल दे वॉन्ट इज कैप ये रिएक्शन रख लें सो दैट्स ऑल यू हैव टू डू लाइक यू डोंट रियली हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग इट्स नॉट लाइक ए लवर्स में जिससे टू प्रिडिक्ट एंड के क्या होगा इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट सो it's better if you don't put like too much time into that for organic which was the biggest like a nuisance to me is i just made a list i think with 30 40 pages ki na maine is the landscape view mein bana ke i made like boxes ke reaction ka naam type of reaction drew it out and then just put the chapter name on top and that saved me like from so much stress because i would just go over that every single day like twice a day and it really just helps everything to like sit in my mind and that was you know just a little tip that really helped me get through things easier and for the other content stuff if you're confused youtube names are still fine third yeah, um fine. so the channels i use once again physics and seconds really good channel because they have their bio chem and physics portions all up so you can just go search the chapter name and they'll have a really good video on it they also did questions which was really nice and if i wanted like a really really in depth breakdown i'd go to professor chemistry with professor javed ikbal he's also really sweet really nice guy really sincere so it was a lot of fun like sitting through his lectures and everything and chemistry yeah that was basically it chemistry is like a subject that you pick up for some time you're not really going to forget it so like doing the syllabus for it twice was enough for me i would just do the questions once again and derivations i would practice again and again and i'm the sort of person who really needs to understand why things are happening to like remember them so i would like write it down i would explain it to myself i would stand in like an empty room for hours just explaining ke kyun kya ho raha and that just really helped things sit in my mind and i just go over key important things and can like all the rectification i had on one page just going over it again and again that's really all you have to do for chemistry no, there's nothing like very complex about it all right so if i just summarize whatever you said chemistry being the beast of a thing that we have to is overcome and fight through so what you suggested is that using online youtube channels example being could you could you repeat the names please uh chemistry with professor javed ikbal and physics in seconds Right, so these two channels uh, are mentioned by Khadija, and she used them. And of course, uh, you can use any other resources that are available to you to prepare. Apart from that, you made summary sheets, and like you ratta filed. Sadly, it's a lot of ratta. No one has it. So you had like a summary sheet, which I also recommended during to during my years after like I grad after I graduated from the MDCAT phase to now. I suggested everyone to make a summary sheet and learn it. So I'm, I really like the fact that you did the same. And apart from that, you also mentioned that you used to be like in a room and you used to teach yourself. You would pretend that you were teaching someone, right? So, uh, in more technical terms, that's called the Feynman's technique. And I really yes. like the fact that you did that because, of course, when you're starting to teach some people some stuff, you start to you know organize it and it becomes easier. So that should cover the chemistry portion. Thank you so much for that, Khadija. So let's move on to the ab dawa me jana hai medical school jana hai to biology se padhna hi padega. So how exactly. did you tackle that part? <laughs> bio is honestly like mai jab when i would get to my bio days in my routine na mujhe like chain ki saans aati thi ki finally something that's actually going to be easy it was genuinely such a serious fight from physics and chem because bio mein there's nothing you really have to understand very very similar to what we did in a levels do teen chapters aise hain like kingdoms everyone's really scared of kingdoms honestly not difficult at all just takes a bit of time and you have to learn how to think in a bit of a different way to really get kingdoms thoda na aapko apna expand karna chahiye mindset and kingdoms was different growth and development was new but there is nothing really very complex about them it's just you have to like after you go over these chapters again and again you get in the habit of doing questions na the details that are supposed to stick with you they're going to like become really visible to you automatically so you don't have to worry about that just uh, some diseases ke examples come up again and again and again so hemophilia get yourself familiar with hemophilia right and um some of the chapters are really unimportant so those you will realize over time as well like biotechnology useless chapter you don't have to do it evolution we did it better in a levels you don't yeah, have really. to do it. <laughs> 
सो लाइक उस तरह का बायो एक दफा आप पढ़ लेना ध्यान से एंड यू मेक योर नोट्स आई एस जस्ट मेकिंग नोट्स जस्ट लाइक क्लैरिफाई फॉर योर सेल्फ वट यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन वट यू डोंट नीड टू फोकस ऑन बिकॉज एंड मे ना आई वुड इवन टच द बुक्स आई जस्ट गो ओवर माई नोट्स बिकॉज फॉर मी दे वर रिटर्न इन अ वे दैट वॉज ईजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड इन द बुक्स एंड बायो यू हैव टू डू क्वेश्चन आई डू एज मैनी एज यू कैन कैम एंड फिजिक्स में आई वुड सजेस्ट स्टॉपिंग एट लाइक अ पॉइंट वे लाइक ओके समझ आ गया बायो आई वुड सजेस्ट पुश योर सेल्फ अ बिट further than that because there are so many questions and there are so many minute details that if you end up skimping on questions you might get to a point where you know some things really well but koi aisa question aa jayega first go like there was this one question um i remember ke brain ki stem kahan se shuru hoti hai so if you hadn't done that like you know you hadn't picked up on that detail because you didn't do enough questions you would be like you'd be stuck there ke mujhe yaad nahi hai out of syllabus i would panic but if you simply make like get yourself in the habit of batch doing questions like i would do like a bunch i, I would do 200 per chapter for by because as like it's not enough <laughs> so do as many questions you can for bio because koi na koi aise detail aa jayegi where you'll be like oh ye mujhe nahi pata i should probably commit this to memory and bio honestly it's really sad but it's more of like memorization so the more you do the more you see the more things are going to stay with you um bio ke liye there wasn't really any need for youtube channels the punjab board books are written really well just for bio i will give them that so just use your books make your notes and just like keep doing questions and keep going over the explanation kyunki kabhi kabhi a lot of the times what would happen with me is ke i read a question i wouldn't exactly focus on ke what is it asking from me i'd be like oh ye topic is like a similar maine kuch kiya hua and then i'd go you know based on whatever options i'd done previously and then when i'd get to the explanation that's when it would hit me they were asking for something else so make sure you're like evaluating all approaches like keep your mind open when it comes to bio for kingdoms i would also recommend making flow charts because it gets really confusing if you're just reading para after para after para ke like ab ye mushroom ki wo kingdom ab ye wo hai make your flow charts and just write down ke what characteristic defines what i did that for kingdom animalia only looked over my flow chart the day before the exam and it went fine But because reading through those chapters again and again it's going to get like really repetitive you'll find yourself like not paying attention be like aata hai aata hai moving forward but if you make your flow charts challenge yourself to draw them again challenge yourself to like draw them blindly or recall just from memory ke like what exactly were the defining characteristics of each thing and that's where you will find out ki mujhe ye yaad hai wo yaad nahi so that's mm-hmm. what i would recommend for bio like actively force yourself to recall get yourself a blank page write down a summary make like a, a mind map that's what i did for bio just doing things over and over again yeah that is a very good method of learning as well i highly highly agree with you so if i just summarize everything that you said in this part for biology so primarily what you did was you used of course the resources that you had physical books ho gaye online resources ho jo bhi youtube other resources etc etc and apart from that you focused let's say the bigger chapter being animal animal kingdoms and that sort of stuff you focus on making flow charts because flow charts of course help you memorize it and everything and you did a lot of questions like questions questions i agree it is easy to get the information in your head but taking it out during the examination is the difficult part so i i agree highly agree questions 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 so that should cover the biology wala section as well so that i think covers the main three big <laughs> portions of our mdcat and now we have our logical reasoning and uh, english which logical reasoning was introduced during my year in 2021 mm-hmm. so how did you go about logical reasoning logical reasoning honestly ek to it's not done well it is not logical <laughs> at all when it comes to the mt cat like they don't know what they're asking so don't stress yourself out about that too much i would say like if agar nahi aa raha na to more likely the question is wrong than you're wrong like that's my experience <laughs> um but logical reasoning honestly i gave the aga khan test as well so i was already kind of in the habit of thinking about things more like in a deeper sense because they have a big portion for logical reasoning right so and that's more challenging than the mdcat i would say so what i did for that is basically what helped me for the mdcat i didn't have to go over things again i would do sat ke purane papers if you want to like get better at the puzzles and like you know the like trick math questions they can pass off as logical reasoning sometimes you can do the sat questions honestly better for the aga khan test than the mdcat but 
they did come in handy. So if you're not good at math, yeah, you feel a bit shaky, familiarize yourself with SAT math and it will help you like just boost your confidence for the MDCAT. And kangaroo papers, they make sense. The MDCAT doesn't make sense. Um, so if you do kangaroo papers, you'll be in the habit of like, you know, looking at a weird question being like, you won't get frazzled. You'll be like, this way, this approach karna. so that will help you like calm your nerves for the MDCAT. And honestly, logical reasoning, the only thing I suggest is don't actually think about it. Like there is no <laughs> thinking involved in that. Jo obvious answer lag rahe, wo hi hai. And if there's no answer, like that's obvious, just go with like a random question like random option because so many times especially in english when unki apni english galat hoti thi for the question and you'd be looking at the options like isme karna kya hai? so just go with your gut feeling most of the time there is nothing you can really practice if you're really worried um per syllabus mein hamare game it wasn't mentioned but 2021 ke syllabus mein they had written down ke english ke liye what you should be focusing on so just go find an online question bank practice with you aise aise samajh aa jayenge i feel like you should only aakhri do teen din english and logical reasoning where you can spend if you're already like familiar with them if you're not and if you feel really shaky about them just take out like five ten minutes of your day like in your daily routine and practice a few kangaroo questions english kelly just read a bit more that would make things easier for you not that unki english koi achi hogi and it's actually going to make a difference um but just like practice a few questions that's it like logical reasoning is the stupidest part of the paper All right, so if I sum everything up with regards to the illogical logical reasoning section, our jo hai. So again, you said it's basically it's not what it says. It's just it's just something which each side which is a karni parti hai. And the way that you approach it, or we would recommend others to approach it, is by if you're preparing for the Arkhan test. I highly agree. Arkhan test is far more uh, you know it's vast compared to the MBCAT, and when you prepare for that, you automatically prepare for the MBCAT. And when you prepare for our uh, science reasoning questions and logical reasoning my section, you automatically prepare for the MBCAT one as well. So you recommend doing online question banks, SAT, and kangaroo papers. That gives an idea. Hoja apko. And then of course, it's just a matter of whatever you think is right in the examination. Eliminate the obvious one out. So if there obviously, if there are four questions, there are five options. Sorry, five questions. There are five options. You eliminate the ones that you know are not right, and then you just go with you know inky pinky ponky karte ro. Then answer will come. Exactly. Answer. <laughs> All right. So- That covers the logical reasoning section. Now, how did you go about the English section? I know it's a minor part; it's like one mm. of the minor parts. But again, you know, you sh- if you get your marks in the minor sections, then there's a high chance of you clearing the examination. How did you go about? Ah, uh, exactly. English, me, you should focus on getting a perfect score because. फिर आपको ना एक मार्जिन मिल जाएगा इन योर साइंस पोर्शन के सही है आई कैन एक दो क्वेश्चन मिस हो गए इंग्लिश के ट्वेंटी या एटीन मार्क्स तो पूरे हैं ना सो यू शुड रीड लाइक ऑनेस्टली द क्वेश्चंस आर रियली रियली इजी बट समटाइम्स ना जस्ट फील जस्ट मेक दम सर्स फील लाइक हमारी इंग्लिश बहुत अच्छी है दे गिव यू लाइक एन ऑब्सुलेट वर्ड दैट हैजन बिन यूज इन लाइक अ हंड्रेड ईयर्स दे लाइक करेक्ट मीनिंग प्लीज एंड इट वॉज द मोस्ट रैंडम वर्ड्स एवर लाइक रैंड के दिल भी लाइक नहीं एक्चुअली आपकी पूरा थाट प्रोसेस ही गलत है जो आपने पूरा समझा है ना बचपन से रैंड का ये मतलब होता ही नहीं तो just like learn not to take that personally just look at the words and like look at the meaning and uh, practice a lot because a lot of the questions even in our years now the ones i practiced online bilkul wohi aaye the for english so it was like that was a breeze so just practice the questions you find a weird word committed to memory like there is no <laughs> other way um and the grammar grammar in ki like it's pretty simple there's just ki like um we don't we're not in the habit anymore of like writing really complex sentences so like they'll pull out a sentence they'll be like compound hai complex hai kya hai and aap usko dekh rahe hoge like compound or complex tha kya so just like watch maybe like one video on that like primary level ki english and just like learn sentence structures because mera hamesha galat hota tha because like i never it's not something you bother with you know learning if a sentence is compound complex simple is the so just refresh your concepts on that and that's basically it like uske alawa english mein kuch khaas nahi tha okay thank you so much for that part khadija regarding the logical reasoning and the english portion so what she suggested was do like a video or two online on youtube taaki ek basic grammar ki aadat ho jaye because of course english even in the mdcat is well koi aur zaban english to hai hi nahi but khair you know it's we have to manage it 
so let's move on to the part ha huh, this is a huge question that everyone asks a lot Acad- academies or no academies coaching or no coaching for the mdk very tricky question it honestly like um, depends on how you feel about it yourself that koi aur aap uska sahi jawab nahi de sakte aapne jana hai not the person who's giving you the advice so when i was still doing my era was that believe this is around january there was a certain academy starting a six month program for the mdk mm-hmm. cat and just hearing that no no f fake me out i was like abhi se shuru karne ho so if you're someone who tends to avoid that sort of pressure like even if you weren't in the habit of taking tuitions in your high school years then in my opinion academy is not going to work for you i personally didn't go to any because purely because of the schedule not that i don't believe they're useful but um unka schedule aisa hota hai ki you're going to spend the entire day there and then once you come back you'll still be doing the work they assign you so if you're someone who needs time for like self study then you're not going to find it academy aapko ek path pe laga de ki aapne usi pe jana hai jaisa waisa hi jao hai so they would start at like 7 and at like 8 or ghar aake you have to do the papers they assign you have to follow like their path and that in their own way is correct what they're doing is providing you like guidance in case you're lost like some people they can't um, figure out their own plans and that's perfectly fine different things work for different for me i need the time to like figure out my own plan right like, like, like you know lay my own groundwork and just proceed at my own pace me personally if i start comparing myself to other people mujhe bahut tension so i avoided the academy scene completely but i did see it work for right to it i work for other people. so it totally depends if you're someone who hamesha se like tuition culture ke sath you can keep up with the hustle go for it that's going to guide you they're going to give you a very very solid like plan about what to do when to do and they'll give feedback so that is good if you're someone who wants like a detailed breakdown of your performances and stuff then you can join a few of the reputable like academies that's well and good if you're someone who has always worked independently and you need more time and you want to like have a bit of free time right before the mdcap as well i would say skip the academies but don't skip the resources just because you're going doesn't mean you can't steal very very big supporter of theft like maine jitne resources academy se like baqayda just people who go there if you're friends with them you can literally just ask them ki ye bhej do wo bhej do jo mock kiya wo bhej do it's a great resource it's technically not illegal so go for it like use the resources because those you aren't going to find anywhere else and they catered very very specifically to the year so if you If you're like um if you really want to hone in ke like is saal kya aayega is saal kya nahi aayega uh, reach out to friends or anyone you know who's going to those academies get those papers from them because especially the mocks they're going to help and then they also have a few of them have like topic specific papers so they'll have like a 200 mcq paper just for bio and us mein wo high yield ka banayenge so if you want to focus and really like get an idea of ki kya aayega zarur go for those papers find those resources steam i really <laughs> suggest that so academies don't go if you are not going to handle like time management if you're not good with that you need your own free time aapko khane peene ki apni routine chahiye don't do that. but if you want like a structure and you're not good with defining that for yourself go for it. but like may i would suggest leaving them right at the end because these people would spend like the entire day long. and they come back and they be so exhausted so my personal philosophy is like to rest up the week before the end because just so your brain is working and it's like optimal condition that's not going to happen for you so make your own like time management plan yes i highly agree with you as well uh, what do how it happened during my year was just like you had you gave this entire scenario about a person who joined like who joins early and stuff so i joined an academy during january during the a level winter breaks and then i continued and after that i like stopped going and focused more on self studying kyunki routine hoti khud ki i understand some people cannot develop that sense of discipline which is very important if you are even in med school you khud jo already have been attending a lot of lectures in at majority medical colleges you know you realize ki bhai khud se padhna hai similarly mbk ka bhi yahi hai so i highly agree with you on that part as well so really thank you for that particular 
you know clearing that thing out of the way okay this is a very controversial topic iske ilawa i want to ask you um, so i think majority of the question is over are over so give me one. right so sorry about that so uh, the last thing that i watch i want like to ask of you is so mai apne chote juniors ko and your batch sabko bachas bolta pyar se aap aapke jo chote aap se bhi chote bachas hain unko what last uh, advice would you give to them before like what would what would be your last words to them well not the last last words but in terms of the md can <laughs> obviously not but um I would say okay, take care of yourself. Like first and foremost, I've seen so many people and couldn't but I don't mind that pressure laying there. So they'll make things harder for themselves. Like go around telling people, "I'm under so much pressure. I don't understand. I'm going to medicine. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to do a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. They'll waste like five hours a day telling people. Can you be a lot stressed? No, just if you put, invest that time in studying, now your life will be easier. Like stop telling yourself it's a lot of pressure. because i personally like i'm also someone who you know, tends to get like really really stressed and freaked out and then i spend time fixating on the fact that how hard things are instead of just getting to them so i struggled a lot first few months were like absolute hell for me but then i was like it's just an exam <laughs> like literally ha huh? somehow your future does depend on it but if you just give it your best give like consistent effort things will be okay and don't put your life on hold just for the exam like kyunki hamare sath kya hua tha rmd cat was originally supposed to happen in september mm-hmm. and then it ended up happening on the 13th of november so you can imagine how long that is to just be hanging in tandem ke hoga nahi hoga plan pe jaun na jaun try meet up with friends or not just go like honestly just take your time meet your friends engage in some sort of activity and the, the second most important thing which i only realized it was like a bit too late stay physically active mm-hmm. not because ke oh mental health and what not was say yes some people don't really care about that if you just want to focus on your studies na tell yourself that staying physically active is what's going to keep your brain healthy and that's what's going to help you because if you're just sitting at a desk for like 13 14 hours a day aapke dimag ki koi khas achhi halat nahi rehegi right so what i would do is like i had a set time where i was going to play 30 minutes of badminton come like rain or sunshine like mai ro rahi hoti thi i'd be out there playing badminton 30 <laughs> minutes a day and it would honestly just give me that time to like take a step back and tell myself just an exam just a bad day it's fine you know and that refresher that's really all you need daily and then like what i would do which also some people found really controversial now every 10th day i'd be like bas aadha din padungi and then the rest of the day i'd do something fun i'd like engage in a hobby and i'd take that time to unwind and that's like going to bring your stress levels down you're going to get burnt out during this process and like mentally prepare yourself for that because jo wo time ke aate hain uspe nahi hoga jo wo cheeze ke aate hain wo nahi hongi so like uska bhi extra ek mental pressure hota hai so you need to take the time to like Take a step back. Tell yourself it's just an exam. Nothing will happen. So nothing will happen. It's not the end of the world. Medicine nothing will happen. You can still like make a lot out of your life. Like that's it's not something you should like ruin your life. Because those few months are going to be really hard. So you need to find strategies that are going to help you get through them. Because burnout at this point will be inevitable. You need to learn how to manage it and how to deal with it. And for exam. Week like that week before, I would say make it as logistically easy for yourself as possible because my exam to think that there was this one person who came and I was in such tension and I was like, what have they done? They showed up to NED like five minutes ago. The paper was due before they were like candidate. But then they said, "Fala, fala, your center is NED, not your center is OJA campus." So imagine the charity like what they're going through. just because probably they made an error they didn't check their slip the night before they didn't have they didn't communicate with their parents they didn't communicate with whoever was dropping them off uski wajah se probably us bande ka aadha ghanta zaya ho gaya aur bande ko lecture pe right so make sure that your logistics are handled because then you're relieving yourself a lot of a lot of pressure that might ruin the entire exam for you check out your venue have your admit card printed and ready have a few copies of it get your cnic and other documents in place have your pens ready people were showing up without pens insane carry a pencil 
um, just with, you might need it. Like again, you just might need it for your pencil. Check out your uh, venue beforehand. Us logon ke saath ye bhi hua to unhone estimate kiya ki 20 minute lagenge pahunchne mein. Beech mein hazaar gaadiyan khadi hui hain to 20 minute that becomes an hour. I was stuck in traffic for like an hour, but I had given myself the margin. Na? I knew that I would have to be in traffic for a hour. So I set up an hour early and I was sitting there and I was tension free. You need to be as relaxed as possible before giving that exam because it's a three and a half hour exam. If you have a fuse in the first hour, it's really not going to work for you. So come early. visit your venue and the most important thing which freaked a lot of people out to say yeah venue to punch to get how the hell are you going to get back from the venue itna bada wo campus hai finding your parents there is going to be insane getting your car out is going to be insane so you have to like um give thought to those things as well so what i would recommend doing is ke need if your center is need or if your center is oja like Uh, set a spot with whoever is going to pick you up. Set a spot that's like ten minute walking distance away, and tell them that exam is done. Hold that. This time, pe, I will meet you here. Do not deviate from that. Do not try to meet your parents at the front gate. There will be a stampede. So meet ten minutes away, park further away, and just get out of there as quickly as you can. Logistically, make things easy for yourself. Get your sleep. Do not put all nighters the week of the exam. And a core thing which people do not really take into consideration is, so be your documents and legal processes. And once the MD card is given, season they start moving so fastly that and it's not rush or just the administration ke centers. But yeah, you might just get screwed over because you didn't plan. So if you're from O levels, get your equivalency. O level equivalency is time that you should have your certificates. Get it like the day you start studying for the MBA. Get it to get your equivalency when you get it. The day your A level results come out, get your A level equivalency. You need get your documents ready. If you have any domicile issues, get those sorted immediately. My admission almost got jeopardized because I had a domicile issue. That one week where I was in tandem was absolute hell. So, like, get your domicile issues sorted. Get all of your legal and documentation stuff out of the way. The week before the MD CAT, focus on just you know bringing your stress levels down to a minimum. Tell yourself that ha, kisi ko bhi na sab kuch aata nahi. Everyone is walking into that center with like, tha nahi tha. Ye chapter reh gaya, wo chapter reh gaya. You're not special. For like skipping a few chapters, nothing horrible is going to happen to you just because you didn't do a few questions. Everyone is walking in there with like the maximum of the ninety five percent key prep. Kisi ki bhi usse zada nahi hai. It's impossible. So tell yourself that even if you forget a few things, it's fine. Focus on what you're actually good at, and just walk in there as relaxed as you possibly can. And just like keep your mind on the paper. Keep yourself. Hydrated. Take a water bottle. They won't let you take your own inside. So either with the rain or rain, like take the water bottle. Eat something really nice beforehand, and like keep some. Like tell yourself, you know, I'll just sit down and watch my favorite show, or like I'll relax. I'll take a huge nap. Give yourself like mental motivation because those three and a half hours, like they drag. I agree. So you yeah. have. <laughs> have a strong mentality. You have two hundred and ten minutes, like three and a half hours for two hundred question exams. So you have like a minute per question, roughly, and ten minutes to overview. So while you're sitting there, make sure you're keeping an eye on the clock. Wear your own watch. Hardly any. So like, keep your time management on point. Don't freak out during the exam. In the same way, like, take it easy. That's all I would say. All right, thank you so much for that, Khadija. So again, I agree. It is important. Andy, can you have one week like one week is left? Keep yourself relaxed. And I agree, highly agree. So getting your documents ready, every single thing is very important beforehand. And plus, guys, if you want to watch that video, I already have one video in my channel in the playlist. I'll put the link down in the description below. You can have a look at all of the documents that are needed and how you can get them made, where you can get them made from. So as Khadija has said, as I have said, as countless seniors have said, अपने documents के साथ please तैयारी रखेगा कोई आगे पीछे ना कीजिए because it can jeopardize your entire career as well sadly. So I thank you so much for this Khadija. I really really appreciate you being here and guiding all the छोटा बच्चास <laughs> for their inshallah their MD CAT their MD BS BDS wherever they might go in the future. And uh, yeah, good luck to you uh, in Dow Medical College, mashallah. and i believe your foundation model has begun 
सो आहिस्ता आहिस्ता यू नो यू अडाप्ट ठीक है एंड इफ यू नीड एनी अदर हेल्प ऑब्वियसली आई एम ऑलवेज देयर एंड थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस मेक श्योर टू लीव अगेन अ लाइक डाउन बिलो एंड इफ देयर आर एनी कमेंट्स एनी टिप्स दैट यू माइट हैव और एनी क्वेश्चंस put them down in the comment section down below and inshallah i will and we all will get back to you immediately inshallah inshallah and tab tak guys uh, chill theek hai enjoy but do not forget your chill ke sath padhai bhi karni hai theek hai to wo bhi karna allah hafiz guys allah hafiz